Anya. Anya. Hi, Anya. How are you doing today? I love you, Anya. Hi everybody, so I thought I'd just start you out with some cuteness with little unicorn lovey and Anya here. Um, mainly, I actually am making this video because there's something that I wanted to talk about, but I decided to start it off with just a cute little <laughs> loving exchange between little unicorn plushie and Anya. But what I wanted to talk about is actually a big argument I saw in a Facebook group over the weekend and what happened was somebody complained about people who have reborn dolls or have animals like pets that celebrate Mother's Day but don't have any quote unquote real children and they were complaining that they felt like their day, their special day, was being hijacked. And that people who have pets or dolls or anything like that pretty much don't deserve to celebrate Mother's Day because they're not really mothers and like that whole attitude. And there was a lot of arguing. I mean, there's a lot of people who were, you know, talking about how, uh, you know, especially with animals, that some of their animals take, you know, just as much care as some children do. And I mean, there was, there was a lot of arguing back and forth on, you know, the just, just of what was said and whether it was even true or not. But it kind of bothered me because I just don't get why people feel the need to judge so harshly how other people choose to celebrate a holiday. I don't see how it takes away from you if you're a mother. If someone else chooses to celebrate the holiday as a pet parent or even as a doll parent, um, I mean, maybe those people wanted kids of their own and couldn't have them, so this is their way to participate in the day. or. Maybe like myself, see, I used to be a foster parent and then I developed a lot of chronic health problems which made it so I couldn't continue to do it. And so I haven't had kids of my own in quite a few years, but I really miss having children around and having pets and having the reborn dolls kind of helps. Um, I mean, it doesn't exactly fill the void, clearly. I mean, having real children in a house is a lot different than having dolls or having animals. But it does give me something to love and something to cherish and adore. And I just, like I said, I just don't see why people have to be so judgmental about how other people choose to celebrate a holiday. And I, I personally feel like, you know... There's lots of different ways to be a mother. Um, I mean, obviously there is giving birth to your own child. There's foster parenting. There's adoption. There's step parenting. There's uh, mentoring. I, I mean, I would consider some mentors are almost like parent-like figures to children, like big brother, big sister. Sometimes those can be more like parents to you than your actual parents, especially if your parents suck. And in my case, I almost feel like when I was growing up, I was the parent. I had to take care of my mom. I mean, it's always been that way. She has a lot of issues, and I had to take care of her, honestly, a lot more than I felt like she took care of me a lot of times. But, you know, so in a sense, I almost feel like I've been a mother all my life. You know, even though she gave birth to me, I've taken care of her. So... I just, I feel like people just need not to be so judgmental and just let people, you know, enjoy whatever they want to enjoy and, you know, if they want to celebrate Mother's Day as a doll owner or as a pet owner or, 
as anything else, I mean, I don't, I don't care really what you do with your own holiday. I mean, have fun, have at it, you know, whatever makes you happy, do it. So that's kind of my view on the whole thing. And I thought I'd just share because the whole argument, I mean, it was just such a huge argument and it just seemed so pointless to me in a lot of ways. I mean, really, what's the point? And why get so angry over something like that? I just, I don't get it. But I thought I'd share, see what your guys' kind of view point is on the whole thing and what you think about, you know, reborn mothers or pet owners or anybody like that celebrating Mother's Day when they don't have, you know, actual physical children or whatever. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I, I hope I... I, I don't think I would have hopefully made anybody mad, but I don't know, maybe I did. Maybe there are some people that feel like some of the people did in the argument that, you know, it's a sacred day just to people who actually gave birth. And, I mean, if you feel that way, I, you know, I don't, like, it's not like I'm mad at you or upset with you or anything. I just, I don't get really why it's so, so important as long as you celebrate it the way you want to celebrate it. I mean, you can celebrate it any way you want to with your family, and you should. So I just don't get why people, I guess, get so upset about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see y'all later. So bye-bye.